Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as many of you will know, Windows devices are compatible with different third-party antivirus products and solutions. And if you don't install a third-party antivirus, um, we also get the uh, default antivirus product that comes bundled with um, both Windows 10 and 11. Uh, Windows Security, which includes Microsoft Defender, which is the default antivirus for both those operating systems, as many of you would know. Now, um, just a quick video to let you know, uh, in case you were unaware, that um, Microsoft actually has another uh, malicious software removal tool called the Microsoft Safety Scanner available, which um, is another tool by Microsoft, which can be used over and above your third-party antivirus or the Windows Security to try and get rid of and reverse the changes that any stubborn malicious programs have made to your system. So if you are battling um, to get rid of um, malicious apps or software or programs, um, then you can run this um, Microsoft Safety Scanner to try and get rid of those tools and reverse uh, the actual uh, changes that any malicious programs have made to your system. Now, um, the tool was released by Microsoft, I think, back in 2011. So it's been around for quite some time. And it's not part of the Windows operating system. So you won't find it by doing a search for the Microsoft Safety Scanner tool on Windows. And it's not part of the Start menu All Apps. You're not going to find it uh, in your Start menu. Um, it can only be downloaded from the Microsoft website, which, by the way, I'll leave a link to in the description. And yeah, you see the download links. So you got the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version. So just double check you download the appropriate version for whatever um, operating system you are um, running, be it 32-bit or 64-bit, else it will not work. So just take note of that. Now, once you've downloaded uh, the tool, um, you just head over to your download location. And uh, if we hover our mouse over the tool, the in-depth in description reads as the Microsoft Support Emergency Response Tool, MSERT for short. Now, um, the tool um, is not installed onto your system. It's a standalone tool. So to launch it, you just double click um, on the MSERT tool. And this could take a couple of seconds to launch because it is a standalone tool. So we'll just need to initiate. And then once that's done, um, you will have to accept the terms as always. Click on next. And here you see, welcome to the safety scanner this tool scans for and removes viruses spyware and other potentially unwanted software and it is a free tool it doesn't cost anything and then um, you click on next and yeah you get three options a quick scan a full scan and then you can customize your scan and obviously depending on the option you do choose um, the the time period taken for the scan will vary and that also depends on your hardware and what you have installed on your system so just take note of that and then once you've selected uh, your different option be that quick scan full scan or customized scan you click on next and then that will run and go through the scan process and once it uh, once it's finished the scan and it doesn't find anything malicious it will let you know and then you just click finish and if it does find any malicious software apps or programs it will let you know and then it will give you the different um, options available to uh, delete and remove that malware and then obviously um, um, restore any damage and um, recover any damage that any of those malicious apps have caused. So it's basically just an extra layer of security and protection to over and above using the antivirus product that you have installed on your system by default. Now, one or two important things to take note of um, if you do decide to use the tool. Um, the safety scanner tool will expire after 10 days of being downloaded. So once you've downloaded the tool, after 10 days, it will no longer work. So just take note of that. And uh, um, to rerun re a scan with the latest anti-malware definitions, you will need to head back to the same website, which I mentioned I'd leave down below, and download the Microsoft safety scanner again, because that will provide you with the updated definitions and then you can run a scan again. And then something else to take note of, and as I have mentioned, this doesn't replace your anti-malware, your default anti-malware product, uh, be that Windows Security or any third-party antivirus. So just take note of that. This is used in conjunction with your antivirus um, on your Windows operating system and doesn't, it doesn't give you any real-time protection or any automatic updates for definitions. So just take note of that. But nonetheless, just wanted to let you know about the Microsoft Safety Scanner tool, which can be run 
um, on your Windows device to find and remove malware from Windows computers. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.